Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, and <clears throat> I know it's been a few days since I've um, updated you guys on my uh, Fulgurtec Prusa i3 uh, printer. Basically, I built the printer all day on um, Thursday, no, Wednesday, and um, uh, did the live stream and then the time lapse. Then Thursday, I was busy with uh, school stuff all day long, and uh, Friday, I was decently busy too, so I basically just got around to doing a few little things on it, and I figured that I would kind of update you guys on it, as well as, um, you know, show you guys what I've got going on with it. So, um, if there's one thing, hopefully, you can tell the difference uh, between the live stream slash time lapse and currently, is the cable management. Um, now, cable management was something that I definitely wanted to um, do some thinking on, because um, I know from personal experience with my... Um, Da Vinci that I converted from uh, stock to the Ramps Arduino combo. Um, I had one instance with a, uh, a a cable basically snagging in a threaded rod um, due to me not securing it properly. And um, it just if you don't have your cables nicely and neatly organized, one it doesn't look you know appealing, but two you have a chance of things getting pulled or you know disconnecting or damaged. So I wanted to make sure I did a, you know, at least a good job uh, on that. So originally, I was printing out a bunch of this. Um, hopefully, you can see it. This cable, basically, uh, chain, and so you feed the cable through it. However, it was kind of looking too bulky, and I didn't really have much to mount it on for what I wanted to do for the extruder. So I ended up pulling it off and um, just using basically this is the included uh, cable wrap that they have, and I. I used that for the extruder, which I think looks good enough. I mean, yeah, you can still see the cables through, but I definitely think it's, you know, that's no big deal. It looks neat and it's out of uh, out of the way. And then when it comes to the cables for the um, uh, stepper motor right here, I basically tucked it on the back side of the uh, of the 2020 aluminum frame, and um, I used a little zip tie right here um, and a little zip tie on this end that you can barely see really um, that holds it into place. So I did that. And then honestly, the rest of it, I just tried to group it together as good as possible, and I went ahead and used zip ties. So there's a lot of zip ties that were used. I mean, tons of zip ties, to be perfectly honest with you. But um, aside from using cable chain or getting more of this cable wrap, um, I felt like I didn't really have too much of an option. And um, honestly, having a completely open and exposed build like this, I felt like you know, there's no way you're gonna make all the cables disappear. It's just not, you know, not plausible. So. Um, this is what I came up with. I'm relatively happy with the end result, um, especially because it's just a lot neater than it was before. It was a mess, and I, when I first started dealing with it, it was like, um, how am I going to possibly, you know, get this to look somewhat organized? But yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with the end result, and um, for me, the best part is, because one, more than looks, um, for me it was important that I wasn't going to have to worry about any cables getting caught or snagging on anything and I did a really good job in my opinion of making sure all the cables are kind of off and out of the way of the printer so that way there's no moving parts that are going to snag onto it. Um, so I did that and the next thing I did was I added, you can see it, <laughs> an LED strip right here. Um, I basically bought a huge spool of LEDs um, for my DaVinci printer. I'll show you guys. Uh, basically just looks like this right here just standard LEDs it's got 3M uh, sticky adhesive on the back and they had they have different colors but I just went with white because obviously uh, I'm using it to illuminate not for you know I guess effect I want it to be useful so um, yeah I basically just cut um, cut down the size and it has the 3M uh, adhesive so I stuck it on the bottom soldered in you know, positive, negative, wired it into the power supply directly, so that way when the power supply is on, the light's on. Um, the LEDs don't really draw a lot of power, and they stay extremely cool, so, um, I don't know. For me, it was no big deal to have it on. So, um, I've definitely got some more ideas on things I want to do upgrade-wise for this. Um, also, I'll place a link in the description on the LEDs if you do want to pick up some for yourself. Um, I want to say I spent roughly 15-ish on them, and there's tons. I mean, I've already, you know, lit up my DaVinci, and now uh, this printer, and I've got enough for, gosh, I don't know, quite a few more projects as well. And they are uh, really, they're flexible cables, um, extremely easy to work with. And they um, basically, they even, I think it says that they're like water, I don't want to say waterproof, but water resistant. Maybe waterproof because it's got a, uh, the coating on it definitely feels like it could be water resistant. It's like a rubbery material basically. So I'll go ahead and kill the lights so you can kind of see how much it does illuminate the work area. Oh, you got to kill the second light. Hold on, guys. There you go. 
so yeah, that's that's basically how much it lights it up. It's just one LED strip. Um, you could you could kind of rig it and do a second strip, um, but I don't know. For me, that was fine. Um, I've got tons of light in my room that I can turn them on if I need to see really close up detail things and the one LED strip at least makes it where I can at night time if I don't want to turn on the bright lights see exactly what's going on plus I just think it looks badass I like having the LED light on top like that so anyways if you guys have any questions at all for me please let me know in the comments down below or suggestions for upgrades and things like that um, but I personally already have quite a few things on the to-do list or agenda for this printer and I did go ahead and do a test print um, a first print test print or whatever before doing anything like not even leveling the bed at all um, nothing at all so um, I did do that it turned out interesting so um, I did a little time lapse of that and I will be sure to upload that in the next day or two here uh, but anyways I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoy your Easter weekend if you're celebrating that and uh, we'll see you guys in my next video Dope Warner and I'm out peace guys